are too low. We gotta Why be... is there so much air? I don't know. You should ask the guy when you go back. Yeah. Why, why does it lose so much air? We won't have to take it back for service. You were at 60 what? I was at 67 when we left. So you lost, you lost uh, 9 pounds. That's not normal. And I started off with 72 on my first trip. So um, um, Lewis checked the um, the airbags for me, and I do have to get them serviced because they oh, they fill too quickly, and then when you take the plug off, it seems that it deflates really fast. Um, even when he's checking, so he said that when I get back, I should um, check with the mechanic on that. But they're about 72 now, which is the amount that the mechanic originally set them for. And I do feel a lot higher in the back than I does. I mean, you gradually will start to get a feel for it. And you'll get to know when you're actually lower in the back um, and I actually I do actually feel higher so you, it's just a matter of knowing and knowing what it is um, at 72 I feel like I'm a little bit too high but because I have this problem that where that where the air is coming out quickly I'm gonna leave it a little bit above where I think it should be uh, because I did feel some bounce, a lot more bounce than I did when I left home. It was a 69, and I thought the 69 was actually felt really nice. Um, so, but I'll talk with the mechanic when I get back and just double check to make sure that I'm doing everything right. We spent the night at Cape Coral, the Sam's Club in Cape Coral, and Lewis asked permission. And the, continue uh, on this road for five miles. The manager said it was okay. He gave us his name, and he said if anybody gave us a problem, just tell them that what's his, you know his name and that he okayed it. And the tough part of all this has been the solar because I don't have solar and I have to keep running my generator, my propane generator. So that's keeping me charged for a couple of days. But once I get back, projects, projects, one of the things is solar. Definitely got to get back. Arriving in Miami, we headed for the local Planet Fitness for hot showers. So this is a shower that I used, which is nice. The water is really hot. And then you have dressing areas here. So you can get dressed here. You were gonna leave stuff here. I bring a lock. I got my hair nice and clean, fresh. Feel good. I just gotta put my makeup on. I get in the RV. Oh, there's my RV over there. So we cross the street over to going to Chipotle now. The burrito no, in a it's bowl. Just, it's just a bowl. It's just a bowl. Yeah. It's a big bowl. It's a big I, bowl. I, I, I go, but it's a burrito on a bowl. It's staying on the straw. Did you like this kind of food? Yeah. And what did you get? Lemonade? I got the iced got tea. Lemonade. Got the tea also, right? For us, right, Christian? That's like a dinner, not a lunch. But that's gonna be our dinner tonight. That's a lot of food. That's a good price. Six dollars to seven fifty. Seven fifty if you buy the steak. And a lot of fresh veggies and rice and beans and that kind of food. So it's very hard. Okay, so um, what we're doing is we have to have to shop some stuff for my uncle, for Uncle Armando. So we stopped here at the Walmart. And I want to show you that we're running out of drinking water. Those three jugs that I bought, which are perfect Gallon. for the bathroom, they're 1.25 gallons of water. And they fit perfectly in that little space there in my bathroom. All I have is three. So I have 3.75 gallons of water when I fill those three up. They're flat. 
they're perfect um, as you know in my travel trailer I had that big six gallon jug and that just weighs way too much it's very heavy isn't it, it? hurts my back every time I have to lift it yeah it's just it I mean those are good for water storage at home for emergency things like that so I'll be keeping that but this works a lot better for us so we're bringing these inside and we're gonna fill them up okay so what's going on is I went up to the guy to ask him if he was okay the guy said he was fine I told him I would call somebody for him it was really nice to him and he said no he didn't have anybody that he was okay this and that I think Lewis is giving him some money. He's sitting at the gas station in a wheelchair and in a hospital gown, and he doesn't even speak English. He speaks Spanish, the guy, so it looks like he left the hospital. He's just sitting at the gas station. Hey guys, if you enjoy my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.